Okay, so this is part two of our animation series, our training series, and uh, we left off of this, uh, making this animation here, and uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, recorded the location, rotation, and scale of the object at different keyframes, and uh, so in between here we don't have any keyframes, but uh, Blender uses interpolation to calculate what uh, this uh, kind of animation would look, uh, even, uh, even if we don't have any keyframes here. So. You see, we added keyframes, but uh, we are seeing two. We are seeing four uh, different uh, diamonds here, indicating uh, the keyframes. Uh, let me break this down for you a bit. So, as you can see here, we also have three uh, different values. We have rotation, location, rotation, and scale, and uh, these are represented by these bottom three uh, uh, keyframes. And uh, this fourth one is just a combined a keyframe indicating all these uh, keyframes. So to see this more, I mean, to see this even more, more clearly, I will just expand this uh, panel here and uh, subdivide this. Uh, so if you go in this, uh, how are these called? Uh, this drop down here, uh, you, can you can change the editor type uh, from timeline uh, to graph editor uh, so that we look at uh, the interpolation all the graph animations for this animation. So let me change back to position to this move gizmo. Uh, play back again. So you can see this is the object we are animating and uh, it's uh, named here cube. And uh, you can see the transformation, object transformations that we have animated. And uh, if we uh, expand this, you can see the different uh, keyframes. Uh, let me unselect everything. And you can see. Diff, uh, we have uh, the location, rotation, and uh, they are also broken down in different uh, axes. So we have the X lot location, Y, Z, uh, X rotation, Y, Z, and the scale, uh, in the same way as they have been done here. So this just shows uh, these keyframes here. Uh, the first one, uh, again, as I said, shows all the keyframes combined. Uh, the second one shows uh, the location. Uh, the third one shows uh, the the combined keyframes for X, Y, and uh, Z rotation into that uh, tra uh, the, that uh, kite or I don't know how is it called diamond uh, icon there. Uh, so, but uh, let's look at uh, expand this a bit. If you hit home on your keyboard, uh, you can zoom in into those different keyframes. And uh, so, and uh, the good thing about this uh, graph editor, again, you access it under this panel here. So it's called the graph editor. Uh, it uh, it shows you all the different keyframes. Uh, this timeline only shows you uh, the the four uh, these four transformation. Uh, broken down into uh, the transformation options, uh, the transformation keyframes broken down into three. Uh, that is the rotation, position, and uh, uh, scale. Uh, but uh, the graph editor again continues to break down all of those into the location, uh, breaking it down into the Z, Z, X, Y, and Z locations. Uh, uh, as you know, we we are working in the three D space, so we always have three D three uh, axes, and uh, this graph editor helps you break down. Uh, those keyframes in furthermore and uh, the good thing is that about this is that uh, if you say you want to just work on the location uh, as you saw that uh, we animated different we we, uh, we animated different aspects of this object we animated the ro location uh, rotation and the scale uh, so if you just want to look at say the position uh, this graph editor lets you uh, hide all the other uh, transformations say the location and uh, everything. So now when we play black, okay, it it hides them in the keyframes, but uh, it still continues to play them back. Uh, but let me see. I think there, there should be a way to disable that. Yeah, so if you uncheck this, you will be only previewing uh, the keyframes uh, that uh, have this indicated on. Uh, this state mark indicated are uh, checked so now we can just deal with the uh, with the position so 
in the next tutorial i'll look i will go in and uh, show you how to edit this graph editor and uh, influence uh, and uh, show you how you can edit uh the animation you see here are uh, using the graph editor